This is the Burger Motorsports catch can. I just got this recently. In fact, it just arrived today from California. This video will just be a first impressions because I, one, have not fitted it to my car, and two, I don't have any of my normal tools with me to measure like, uh, you know, screw, uh, screw threads. Uh, I can only go off of the spec sheet and I will try to have the this information updated in the description, but if you're watching this near when the video first comes out, just know that this that information is not going to be updated yet. It's going to take me a couple days to um, get back to that sort of thing, but I can give full dimensions on everything so that in the event you want to use this on your vehicle, which I at this point very much recommend you'll be able to do that with more confidence um, because I can give you dimensions on top of what the manufacturer gives on their website. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's talk about it. It comes with two pieces of hardware. These look like either M5 or number, like M5 by one or 1032, but I really can't tell just by looking at them. that um, is made in the US, so I would think 1032, but most things are metric now, so I would think M5 by one uh, coin flip. Uh, the other thing is that these are three quarter inch, uh, the inlet and outlet are three quarters of an inch, and that's really good because on the car that I'm installing this on, which is a BMW Z4 with an N52 engine, the hose, fitting on the valve cover is actually one inch and 50 thousandths in diameter. So I'm actually going to have to neck it down to three quarters where usually the ones on the cars are either three quarters or three eighths or half inch somewhere around there. So it's nice that this is uh, a lot larger than the other ones on the market. Uh, it does come with a drain on the bottom that's pre-plugged. It's actually sealed up pretty well. I did, I was able to check that as you can see made in USA. I was also, let me clean this off, very impressed with the machining. Look at look at the engraving inside of those squares. That is beautiful. And that's my overall impression on this can is it is very, very well machined and it's heavy. This is heavier than a normal 12 ounce soda can. Um, all of the chamfers, I'll zoom in again, all of the chamfers here focus. Hello, there you go. All the chamfers are perfect. And something that I noticed, now when I bought this, I thought that this surface here would be tangent to the radius, but it isn't, it's inset slightly. And that's tricky when you're machining because you're gonna be cutting with more of the circumferential distance on the cutter, and it's gonna to wanna to really chatter right here, but as you can see, it, that is a perfect transition from the radius into the flat. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that the color of the, of, uh, the anodization is different from the cap to the can. I don't know if it, I'm, I'm really not sure if it's gonna come up on camera, but the can is has a much higher gloss than the lid portion, as well as it's slightly blacker. This is a little bit more gray. Again, way out of focus, but I, I think you can, you can see that pretty clearly. So, I'll open it up now. The threads, they are beautifully made. Um, they're very, very smooth. So we can look at the lid first. It is double baffled. So this is the outlet. So when it comes in, it's just going to open air into the can, but before it can pass, to the out, then it has to go through these. I would almost 
kind of wish it was the other way around, but they're the professionals, not me. They know the better way to set this up. They're engineers. I'm not an engineer. Um, the machining on the inside, again, beautiful. The anodization is beautiful. Other than, well, I was going to say, I thought, yeah, there is one chip right there. There's one chip on the inside of that one there. And then I think that's it. Those are the only defects on this entire part, which is pretty good considering how it was shipped. There's not much more to say about this other than, again, it'll come out of here and go back up through here. It might be beneficial to put some stainless steel wool in the bottom of this thing, or maybe that'll hurt it. I don't know, I'll do some testing. So here's the can section. Um, beautifully turned, very shiny. Again, I'll, I'll get some dimensions on, the camera does not like picking up these shiny plaque objects. Uh, I'll get the thread dimensions on this as well in case you buy this and you're really into customization and you want something different or you want a bigger can. I'm not sure if they sell a bigger can. Um, but I can get you dimensions on all this stuff. Um, the, and again, the turning on the inside, it's beautifully radiused in there. It's going to be almost impossible for you to see that. But machining quality, top notch. Um, oh, one thing I forgot, and actually want something they forgot, is the O-ring on the can. It was pictured in the advertisement and on their website, but do you see an O-ring? I don't see an O-ring. Uh, this costs $135 plus $14 to ship to my location. So $149 all in. For what you get and for how hefty this thing is, I think $149 made in USA, that's a good deal. Um, again, the only things I wish it was, that it had differently is I wish it would have come with the O-ring because then I'm going to have to source an O-ring. And I wish it would have come with, you know, maybe four fasteners, not two. I'm sure two is enough to hold this thing, but I'm going to probably end up using four. I'll probably use these two out here, and I don't know, either these two or those two. I'll figure it out. So that's all I have for now. This will just, again, be a quick first impressions. Right now I can say I recommend it. We will see once I actually install it on the car and it gets used. So stay tuned and we'll see if it works.